So what, you're just gonna put your iPod on shuffle? Thank you, baby. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Making bang. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Every single song you own is a banger. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody who came out to the YouTube stream earlier today. But there's more information that dropped today, and we're here to talk about affiliations. Of course, you guys already know there's only two affiliations in NBA 2K24. But it's now your time to choose which affiliation you want to go to before the game even come out. I don't know how we're gonna do this. But I have some questions, I have some concerns, and I want to raise those questions within the community. So make sure you got your comments, fingers ready, and let's go ahead and talk about affiliations. While I was live on YouTube, I didn't know that 2K ended up dropping an affiliation trailer for NBA 2K24. Now, we found out some huge news. LD2K is the head of the elite side and Shakedown 2012 is the head of Rise side. But what we didn't know was, were we gonna have any perks for joining an affiliation? And today, that's what we're here to really talk about. So let's go ahead and start playing the trailer so I can you know, explain a couple things as well as raise the questions that I wanna raise. What's up everyone, Chris Manning here, host of 2K TV and your affiliation leader for Elite. One of two affiliations that are going head to head in NBA 2K24. Do you know who it is? <laughs> it's your boy Shake here, representing affiliation Rise. Always good to see you Shake, always Absolutely. good to see you. Okay, so I've probably watched this video about four to five times and I've read everything in this dialogue, but I wanted to read it to you guys so that you can understand before you make your choice, as well as letting you know that Rise from Shakedown and Elite from Chris Manning is really up to you and your play style. You're not really locked into having to go there if you're not a finisher or a playmaker or a defender and a shooter, and I'll tell you why. Now, um, for Rise, it says elevate your team, earn unique gameplay rewards towards finishing and playmaking. Dishing to the open man has never been so worth it. Brand new heat check gameplay boost. Get rewarded for your hot hand from the perimeter after knocking down some outside shots and even hotter hand results. All right, finishing boost. Earn a permanent boost to your finishing attributes. You'll be rising above the defense in no time. Playmaking boost. Earn a permanent boost to your playmaking attributes. Your bag has never been so deep. Now that's for the rise side, all right? That means that they focusing on finishing and playmaking, okay? So if you want to go to rise and you're a finisher and a playmaker, you could go there, but I'll tell you why you, you might not have to. Now let's talk about elite. Want the ball in your hands for the last shot. Elite is for you. Earn unique gameplay boost towards the defense and shooting, making big plays on both ends. Brand new two-way tenacity gameplay boost. Make a big play on one end of the floor and earn yourself a boost for the next possession going the other way. The ultimate two-way player. Now I've been telling y'all, I'm gonna be making a lot. And now that Elite is here, it sounds like it's really my place to be. Now, let's talk about the defensive boost. Earn a permanent boost to your defense attributes. Defensive player of the year, here you come. Shooting boost. Earn a permanent boost to your shooting attributes. Green by any means. Now, they would say if you're a lock or a shooter, you should go to elite, right? That makes the most sense. But I'm going to tell you why you should mix it up as well as I'm going to raise the concern. The reason why you should choose wisely is because a person like me, I've been on the fence about if I want to make my lock be able to be a slasher or if I want my lock to be able to be a shooter, because I know for a fact that I'm not going to have much playmaking. But when it comes down to it, if I decide that I want to make my lock more of a slasher with a little bit of shooting, elite is perfect for me because I know that my build will get defensive and shooting boost. It's a permanent boost, which means if I'm out at the park and I'm playing with my build, my build will shoot better because I'm, a, I'm an elite affiliation, right? Now, for all you finishers and playmakers out there, what if you say, okay, well, what if I want to go to rise because I want better shooting and I already got slashing and playmaking? I don't really need that. I already have that. Or what if you are a defender slash shooter and you're like, yo, I need a little bit more playmaking, a little bit more finishing. It kind of makes sense, right? But 
the biggest issue that I have, and, and this is why I wanted to raise concern, is that we don't know the official attribute rating boost from whenever you join the affiliation. It just says that you will get these certain boosts. Now, of course, 2K has been very transparent and everything going on. And my cat is crazy. And I can tell you right now that if we ask the questions on, hey, um, what is the attribute boost for joining Elite? What is the attribute boost for joining Rise? What does the, the two-way tenacity or the heat check gameplay boost look like? Like how much of that boost are we going to get to our players? And then we make those decisions on who we want to join. Now, for the biggest thing announcement, yes, your boy will be joining Elite simply because I want to be the best defender out there on the court. I don't want nobody to say that Pod ain't try his best and do everything that he possibly could to get all the defensive attributes and to be able to stop the offensive player by any means necessary. Now, let's go ahead and keep watching. You'll get to choose which affiliation you join in NBA 2K24. And prizes are on the line for the winning affiliations each season. All right. Big, big drop. Season rewards from level one to about level six. We can see, we can see, you know, a little buckets um, animation, a one hour uh, XP coin for MT or something like that. I think that's what it is. So we, we see some rewards here. Now, of course, y'all know how I, st I feel about rewards. They gonna come as long as you gonna hit 40. So you don't really gotta worry about anything. It's up to you what you wanna do with your money. I don't say anything about that. That's on y'all. I know for a fact what I'm going to be doing and it's my prerogative to do what I want. So let's move on. Season. So you'll want now. to choose wisely. Ooh. Uh, I want to catch that. For the winning affiliations I want to catch that. each season. So you'll want to choose wisely. We'll start with my affiliation, Elite. Now, of course, the reason why I also like Elite is not because of me finding out about the boost that you get to your attributes in the gameplay uh two-way tenacity is because the park looks actually sick i'm just going to put that out there man We're this park looks good shooting so not only do we have limitless range but we lock down on defense plus who doesn't love hooping on these beautiful neon lights and check this out our courts will actually elevate you to another level that's hard it got any levitate okay you get that because you'll levitate up you don't got that man so find me in the city <laughs> in nba 2k24 and lace them up for elite nah 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 rise is where it's at i i don't know man i don't know about rise bro i seen i seen the affiliation i seen the courts and i just was like ah! i don't know we're focused on finishing and playmaking we make the highlight reels in the city. As your leader for Rise in NBA 2K24, not only are we winning this rivalry against my good friend LD and Elite, but we're man. also gonna be balling in style. Once you see our beautiful Atlantis themed courts, you'll never look back. And we even have an underwater court to- This is actually fire. This is fire. It's a threes court, underground, in the water, as dope. Hoop on, that's unlike anything you've ever seen. This time, it's true. This is where the best hoop action will always be going down in the city. So go find me in NBA 2K24 and get ready to rise up to the competition. So the choice is yours, but here's where it gets real. Each affiliation has its own rep, yes? Brum, brum, brum. Oh. Okay, they just said it. The top 10. Each affiliation has its top 10, which means there will be a top 20 out there that fluctuates up and down. Kind of cool. You heard us correctly. Rep is back. And we all know that bragging rights are important in the 2K community. And in NBA 2K24, your status as the greatest player in the city is on the line. Grind your way to becoming one of the best players in the city and reach the top 10 tier. And what's even better is your rep doesn't reset at the season's end. 
you join an affiliation, start at Rookie One rep level, and grind your way up the ladder all year long. Team Elite. Nah, rise. Now, one thing that they didn't mention, they didn't mention that if you decide to leave your affiliation at any given time, your rep will reset. I repeat, if you decide to leave your affiliation for any reason, your rep will reset. All right. Next. Now, check this out. Badge level progression. It's time to give yourself an edge on the court through the badge level progression system. Bronze level badges are automatically equipped to your player when attribute requirements are met and higher levels are obtained through games, drills and workouts. Badge perks, performance multipliers and floor setters are among the modifiers you gain to assist you in your badge progression journey. Your badge collection will ultimately become a reflection of how you play and what you like to do on the court. Now it's time to see what you're made of. All right, so let's talk. Let's let's see what this badge level progression is all about. Let's talk about badges. Upgrading your badges in NBA 2K24 is all based on how you play. For example, if you have the corner specialist badge and you're dropping threes from the corner and getting those greens, your badge progress. Mm, okay, so we so we get a first look at the the player banner. That thing looks huge. That thing looks that thing looks actually huge, bro. Now, what I'm saying here is you got your first takeover, your second takeover, but what is that? What is that third thing? Oh, that's team takeover, right? Yeah, it must be team takeover. Okay. Will actually upgrade over time. But one thing that's important to remember about badges in my career and in the city is that you have to continue to use them because if you deviate from your current play style and you stop using the badge as often as you used to, your badge may regress. So you really want to make sure that you build a play. Ooh, hold on. Your badge may regress. So you really want to make sure that you. Build so they got an AI player. Okay. Where's the. Where's the score? I'm looking for. I was. I was. I was hoping to see the first look at the scoreboard, and and uh in the city, but. It's not here. Build a player that can complement your play style. Now it's time to get out there and play to your strengths. Should we uh, tell them about street ball too? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, do that. So check this out. If you need more takeover perks for your my player and park games, then you can take your game to the streets. The new single player side quests in the city bring the street ball experience to life. Shake, let them know, man. There are three courts in the city that have unique court bosses and teams to defeat. Each court comes with its own environment filled with MCs, DJs, mm -hmm. and a rowdy courtside crowd. With its own progression system, there are several takeover perks for you to unlock for your my player. Seven takeover perks. Seven. Seven. All right. And don't sleep on the competition because if you don't ball out, Fans will rush the court and shut it down. NBA 2K24 is all about communities and representing your affiliation. So squat up a crossplay, grab a cold drink, and we'll see you on the courts. Your time has come, baller. Now I ask you this, who will you choose? And, and that is it. That is all the information from the in-depth look of affiliations. Now remember, the biggest thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to figure out what those boosts are looking like, those permanent boosts, especially for the affiliation that you choose. And I'm just going to be honest, me, I don't care about whatever boost the finishing and playmaking is. I already know I'm probably going to be a pretty good finisher. I won't need those affiliation boosts, but I know I'm going to need the defense and shooting simply because I want to be a top tier premier. Per premier defender and i want to be a pretty good shooter so those permanent boosts will help me also um another thing there was something that i wanted to ask um of course we're going to ask about the attribute boosts and stuff like that but i want to know when we get these permanent boosts to our attributes will those permanent boosts to our attributes if we are at a certain threshold Will it punch us through to the next threshold for animations? Now, remember, 
back in 2K23, if you put on a certain sleeve, that plus one wouldn't help you get the next threshold of, let's say, a badge or or anything like that. But I remember that they did a little bit of tweaking for the animations, but they're saying that 2K24 certain uh, clothing and stuff that's going to give out plus attributes won't affect animations. But will your affiliation affect that? Because I could tell you right now, if there's something out there that says I can get a plus five to my three pointer permanently because I'm in a certain affiliation, I can put my jumper on 75 and have an 80 out the gate. That'd be crazy. Or or I can even go as crazier as this. If I if I know I need a little bit more somewhere else, I could put my three pointer on a 70. I have a 75 and then I'll be able to get certain animations, hopefully certain badges. But if they don't affect any of that, I'm not mad because I feel like, OK, you're just going to give me an attribute boost, but I still got to make the build my way so that I can make sure that it works the way I want it to work on day one. So with that being said. I like it. I like affiliations. I like that they've condensed them down to two because I'm going to be honest, being a Viper and a Wildcat for the last couple years, you didn't have fun with the game at all. Um, the Knights and the Beasts, they were alternating, getting, you know, the two hour XP coins from the rewards from the event center for the last few years. Wildcats and Vipers, man, always got the short end of the stick, never won anything. So now that there's only two affiliations, this is really going to be a battle. So I, I do want to know, who do you choose? Go ahead and put the affiliation that you choose inside the description. I mean, I'm sorry, the comment section, as well as what build you're thinking about making. Because in the live stream earlier today, we went over badge thresholds and stuff like that. So make sure you guys go check out the stream as well. You know what I mean? And with that being said, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong.